Hey everybody, welcome to Make It With Mod Posh. I'm Steve Piacenza, and today is part one of Fashion School. I'm Kathy Fillion, and we're hitting the books, the spiral notebooks, that is. We're going to be altering plain spiral notebooks with the brand new Mod Podge, the Ultra Matte Chalk Finish. It's a great mm -hmm. finish. And with all of our leftover supplies, we're creating some really fun embellishments for the covers of our day planner. We're also creating this cool mixed media tote bag using Mod Podge. I think all of these things are perfect for fashion school. For this project, we're using the new Ultra Matte Chalk Mod Podge and Mod Melts. First, you're going to want to trim a piece of scrapbook paper to fit the front and back of a spiral notebook. Apply Mod Podge to the back of the paper. Then you'll just position it right onto the cover of the spiral. and smooth with your fingers to remove any air bubbles. Repeat this process on the back of the notebook. You're gonna want this to dry for 15 minutes before top coating. Next, it's time to make some Mod Melts. Heat a red Mod Melt stick in a Mod Melter and squeeze into a Mod Mold. We're making Gerber flowers and floral corner pieces. We use four corner pieces and a couple of the flowers. Add gems to the center. You can use the same Mod Podge to glue the gems to the center. Next, we're gonna use Fabric Mod Podge to attach a really cute owl patch to the center of the notebook. Use the same red Mod Melt to attach your Mod Melt embellishments to the notebook. I love this new Me formula too. of Mod Podge. It's ultra matte chalk. It is the most matte finish, no brush strokes, and it is beautiful on top of projects. It's so smooth. Yes, it's very silky smooth. Super cool. Mm. Coming up, we are going to be doing some stenciling with Mod Melts. Yes, you heard me correctly. We're gonna be using Mod Melts to create a mask stencil. We're doing it on fabric, but this works great on scrapbook papers too. First, sketch a tree design. Then place a clear Mod Podge mat over the design. Heat a white Mod Melt stick in the Mod Melter and trace over your design. Let cool and peel up. Place a piece of wax paper in between your bag. Then place your stencil on your bag and we'll be using Fabric Creations Soft Fabric Ink and a wet sea sponge. Tap your paint on your bag and then blend using the other side of your sea sponge. And cover your whole bag. Using Fabric Mod Podge, cover the back of your owl and place on your bag. Use Mod Podge to glue gems for eyes.
add a few mud melts for embellishment. Using a fabric friendly ink pad, stamp a favorite saying. For our journal, we tinted the owl using the same fabric ink and attached it with fabric Mod Podge. We also added two Mod Melt flowers. Thanks for joining us today. In our next episode of Fashion School, we are making faux boot cuffs and jewelry, and we're making three super cool altar t-shirts. If you like this video and you want to see more, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And remember to make it with, with Mod, Mod Podge. Podge. See you later. <laughs> Bye.